Okay, what I'm looking to do is to make your Excel screen as simple as possible, as clean as possible. The way to do this is to remove all of the buttons. You can do this in a macro. So let's see. The first thing you need to do is to go to View Get Toolbars and go down and grab the Forms menu. There it is. OK. You know that to create a ma macro click onto the button, draw a button, up comes this the macro box click on to record now you need to say OK we'll have button 1 click as the name of the macro now all you need to do is all of the actions in order to clean up the screen. So the first thing is to go to View, Toolbars, take off the various toolbars. I have various toolbars there, the drawing toolbars. Right, so I had a drawing toolbar, I had the standard toolbar, the formatting toolbar. I've left the forms toolbar for the moment. OK. So what next? I could go to here and take off the formula bar. I could go further and take off right down at the bottom here, the status bar. Alright. I could go to Tools, down to Options, and then take off the row and column headers, horizontal scroll bar, vertical scroll bar, sheet tabs, I could even take off the grid lines. Having done all of that, you'll see that my sheet is looking very clean. Now I stop the macro, come up to here, and just draw right on there, remove B. Now, obviously, if I press Remove B, it's not going to do anything because I've already removed all of the buttons. So let's do a second macro, this time to put back all the buttons and things. OK. Record. OK. Go up to View, Toolbars, and now you have to click these individually. There is another way. You could go and press the right hand toolbar, uh, mouse button up here and then click onto it like that each way, each time. I could put back the drawing toolbar. I could come down to here, go to toolbars. No, I don't need anything else there. I've got everything here. I go to view, go down to formula bar and put that back on. Go to view and put on status bar. Then go to tools, down to options, 
and once again put all these on. Row and column headers, horizontal scroll bar, vertical scroll bar and sheet tabs. When I OK that, everything is back, so I can click on to stop recording. I now go up to here, highlight that and put replace B. Now let me just close that button there. Now when I go up to here and press that, I end up with a clean screen. When I go up to here, I put all these buttons back. Just incidentally, if I come to here, click onto it with the right hand mouse button and go to Format Control, then I can go to Size and see the height is 114, the width is 273, OK. If I come to here, Format, now I change that to 114 and that to 237. Was that 237? 273. I thought there was something not quite right. Format control here. 273. OK. Now the buttons are the same size and that tends to make things look neater. OK. There you are. To remove all the buttons, press Remove B. To replace them, press Replace B. That's how to make macros that tidy up your Excel 